I'm going to be able to send them a you. This next one, I believe, is a self portrait. Oops, got it wrong. So, folks at home, Laura is working on trying to fix that glitch. Can you see this one now, people at home? Yes, it's beautiful. We can see the whole oh. image. Okay, that's weird. I'm so happy and relieved. I, I think this is a self-portrait, although I'm not positive. And I believe it's quite large. Again, she paints the figurative image first and then works the other things around it. Very rich, very looped, I would say. We can. Again, celebrating the vibrant dance hall and Jamaican roots company is part of, or that she comes from. I don't know if she's a dance hall person, but definitely proud of her Jamaican roots. There's something odd about one of her eyes. I think it's cross-eyed. I think that that's deliberate. I don't, maybe she personally has a wandering eye. I'm not sure if this is a self-portrait or the person that she painted. <clears throat> um, has that on their face. The composition is beautiful. Oh. Okay, you want me to put it back? I agree. One more time. Whoops, wrong one. It is beautiful. It appears to be symmetrical, but it is not symmetrical. Obviously, the focus of attention, the focal point, is her face. I love this kind of halo. She frequently puts these things around the portraits. That's one of her signature things. Lily, did you ever get to see this show? This would have been your alley for sure. No, but the fact that you're pieces, I, I'm very curious to, to do a little bit more research on my own. So thanks for bringing her to the forefront. <laughs> you're welcome. Wild color, everyone. You can really go with color today. Let's look at some more. As always, I have many pictures. This one is taking forever to open. Everyone see this one? It's very blurry, unfortunately, but you can get a sense of the size. Okay, good. Size of her work, and she frequently puts things around her pieces. Um, I'm not sure if these are rubber balls or what they're actually made out of. Their appearance is joyous, but the theme is generally serious. Thanks to series. Part of the piece at the Museum of Art and Design, there were figures that simulated, you know, crime scenes where they do the outline of the figure. Mm -hmm. She had several of those mm -hmm. in the floor portion of the piece. 
Okay, we'll look at a few more. Oh, this is part of the one we looked at. I think it's another section of it. And there's that, maybe it's not a self-portrait because it's part of this installation. I think I'm wrong on that. So I take that back. See the halo in each. And see the crazy detail. I don't know. Point, but from what I understand, she does most everything herself. That might have changed at this point in her. She's becoming more and more famous. Reminiscent of other artists we've looked at, right? That if Faith Ringgold, the love for fabric here, um, people like Wangechi Mutu, the great collage artist. Definitely the feminist approach, but also very unique in that she's celebrating Caribbean culture. I love this one. Wait till you see this one, everybody. Again, exquisite composition. Visual and unique. They're not always of Jamaican. Or this person may be Jamaican, but not of African Jamaican ancestry. Some of the flowers and definitely the portrait itself. But there is a lot of fabric used in this. There are lots of beads. Stuff is probably either lace or paper. Again, the halo effect. It reminds me a little bit of Buddhist art as well, Tibetan. Maybe because of the circular image in the middle. Okay, it says more. that it was called, it's called If We Must Die. If We Must Die. It, that particular piece, I feel like that's a series that she did. Yeah, I think it is. It looks like she did a series of these yeah, portraits with. Oh, here she is. is. Here's an actual picture of her. I did find one, and we can. Not the other was self portrait. So I want <clears throat> so we're combining both our themes today with this artist she is heavily involved in feminist art, identity art, and also Caribbean as in Jamaican uh, art. So a lot to think about in her work. I want to look at one more picture and then I'm going to make today. I 
I don't know why there seems to be a weird delay in my preview. Yeah, we'll make a note of it. We probably need more of a connection with this when we go back. Okay. So bear with me. So this one is a little bit less colorful, but equally strong, I believe. Let's see what you all think. Uh, there's a touch of Kehinde Wiley, too, don't you think? The, the kind of gorgeous, intricate backgrounds that he uses in his portraiture. I agree. Yes. Yeah. As, as, do, as do I. Remind me. Um, in future classes, I was lucky enough to go to Kehinde Wiley's space in in Dakar in Senegal, and I saw some interesting work there. None of his work. These are all uh, people that he has given residencies to. But yeah, it does remind me a bit of Kehinde. It's a beautiful man. Gorgeous, gorgeous portrait, I think. All right, so what are we going to do today? I'm going to stop the share briefly, but I think once we get started working, I may put a, an image back up for those of you at home. Um, today to show you what we're working on. Liz, I can actually turn the webcam at least in the direction of the class okay. so they can see you move about and I'll do the same thing. Okay, awesome. We'll awesome. Next yeah, that would be perfect. We have a plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I want everyone to be included. Thank you so much, Laura. All right, today I thought it would be fun if you have available to you, I have brought to the library paper, acrylic paint, fabric, Elmer's glue, and some few things like buttons and beads. My supply of all that stuff seems to have diminished. I have to replenish. But those of you at home, if you have anything like that, even little pebbles, if you have a shell collection, any of those kinds of things. And I invite you to do the kind of work that Evan E. G. Patterson does, mixed media. You want to start by thinking either of a theme or a defining shape to begin with. You want to also think about your palette. Now, Ebony's been doing what she does for years and years and years, so I think she has the experience to allow herself to run completely full-scale riot with her color. If you feel confident in doing it in that way, that's great, but if you're a little bit unsure of the direction that you want to go in with this project, I would say maybe limit the number of colors that you use. I like the idea of starting out with a portrait. You can either do a portrait from your imagination or work from a photograph or try self-portrait. Use a mirror and work from that. I would have the portrait dominate your composition and fill up the entire page. If you do not want to work on a portrait, that's fine too. But again, I would think about shapes and how you're going to plan out where you place the shapes on your page. Do that first. I would sketch it out in pencil. And then I would proceed to do painting. Do most of the painted area first, and then think about gluing your fabrics. 
and other things onto the paper. Either use glue gun or Elmer's glue for gluing three-dimensional things on, or you can stitch. You can always sew pieces of things onto your paper. If you want to start with something like canvas as your base, that would be awesome too, if you're lucky enough to have that available to you. Any questions? We will, as always, have sharing at the end. And I think we figured out a way that folks at home, as well as people here in the library, can share as well. We can even do a shout out to YouTube, because we are live on YouTube today. And to folks on YouTube. So sorry. Yeah. I did not mean to forget anybody out there yeah. in YouTube land. And we'll do some fancy footwork with the camera for today's presentation. We're going to do fancy <laughs> camera work for this <laughs> fancy <laughs> art project. <laughs> Webcam. Uh, do you want to take yourself a spotlight too? So that okay. way I can use it. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Liz. So I'm going to remove myself from spotlight. Should I? I probably should mute myself. Um, so we can. don't get the feedback. Um, that's a good idea. Try that. Okay. So I'm going to mute myself for a few minutes and remove okay. myself from spotlight. And we're good to go. If you have whoops, if you have questions, you can always put them in the chat box. I will be coming back to check on that momentarily. Thank you, Thank you. Get a wicked mute yourself, right? I just did. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Still, uh, can you get the mute on? I got you. Okay, Liz, why don't you put up uh, an image? And um, maybe leave your microphone on and let's see what I can do while you're teaching. You know, maybe the back. I'm trying to figure out how to unspot you. Gotcha. I will put up an image. Yeah. Folks who are here. The art supplies are all along the sink, and there are drawing tools here. You can begin. Yeah. But it was very good. Oh. I like it. It was a dress. <laughs> Unless you're going to wear it. How are you feeling? I'm feeling almost like normal. I'm by the end. It's taking on my skin. No, it's different. It's different. It's different. I talk now, will they hear me? Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna send the message. So, okay, you already have an idea. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So people at home could see me and us, but they can't hear me. That's from some weeks ago. You had a stand yeah. to the artist, but we just came. Oh, yeah. And yeah. came out from yeah. the wet. And was indeed a fabulous. I so love it. That's great, and I love this eagle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm working after that. It's a courage, but how are you? Hi. Great. Glad to be home. Good combo. I'm thinking the wash first. the good thing about this fabric is it probably won't fray. I'm worried. Well, well, probably won't fray. Well, always say you do the larger. Well, in that case, you're out of luck. Always the larger. Say something. Hello. This is a, a piece by Mika that she made in another class. It really fits with the theme for this class. I love all the gold mm -hmm. orange. It's gorgeous. And the background is just like ethereal. It's beads. Wow. We're all invested in our theme. And this fabric is perfect. Yeah, it's a marker, but yeah, no. I've got gold Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where all of our fabric is made. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
Uh, I'm going to tell her. I did a draft with my, my And just throw up a picture on your desktop. And then I'll work with you to add more information that you set up on the So I'm going to do it. Yeah, and I was over it. So I'm using yours. I should log out of Zoom. I've got you in the corner of the Zoom. <laughs> Say goodbye and tell him he's still in the room. No feedback. Put thumbs up or just tell me you hear me. Thumbs up. Perfect. Wonderful. So I'm gonna you're gonna see Liz in the background there in the class and she'll project a little bit more so you can hear her. Uh, next week we're going to have a different kind of setup so that we will have a zoom on last. Worried, but uh, we'll get we're getting better at this. We appreciate your patience. Okay. You're welcome. Are you just really good? Do you think it's real? Do you want to come say hello to them? I'm going to come say hello. All right. Hi, Zoom. I'm here. I have not abandoned you, but now we have no feedback, so we're good to go. Have fun at home. 15 minutes before the end of class, we are going to share. I'm so thrilled. This is working out well. Thank you so much. Kudos to Laura for figuring out the tech difficulties. And um, we will improve, yes. Thank you for your patience. I'm glad to see you're all working. Ah. So spread the word to people. This is still an ongoing thing, and it's well. So I'm going to now move around the room, but you will still be able to see me. We've got the camera working, and I will be in chat box. Or, you know, you can always call out questions to me, and I have to use paint. If you are going to use paint, though, I do recommend that you start with paint. And things after. I think it'll be easier for you. This we use that um, paper mache right to grab mm -hmm. that paper mache. Yeah. I still have a lot of that. We're going to do it now that we're back in person. We can do a larger variety of things again. You're recycling mashed potatoes. Yeah. Now, remember when we used the ground up paper and we paper did the mache. paper mache sculpture? It was gray, a very fine gray powdery. Oh, I like the piece that you were putting here. We, we used it at the same time. Some of our special things. Good. So, those of you at home, if you're interested, people here are working in different ways. They're approaching this project. Differently, some people are drawing first, some people are jumping right in and cutting pieces of fabric and arranging it on their paper. 
no one's gluing yet or attaching yet and that's i think very wise they are moving their bits and pieces around playing with the composition before attaching things permanently to their paper and i would recommend that to you as well if you have heavyweight cardboard to use as your base uh, that might be something you want to use too because it will give you more support particularly if you end up using a lot of glue <laughs> Oh, you're getting some positive comments, Laura. <laughs> All right, you rock. <laughs> so they show part of the class. Liz, you can say hi to the YouTube over there, too. That's that camera. YouTube folks. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting to be sharing art with just a larger audience. It's just wonderful. Having been across the Atlantic to a whole another country and seeing the power of art crossing borders to know that YouTube can help share art across millions of borders, all different kinds of borders, is really a wonderful thing. So welcome YouTube participants. If you have all this kind of stuff at home, fabric, beads, buttons, any kind of stuff that you've been saving. I know a lot of people love to save shells. If you have a lot of extra bits and pieces that you've been wondering what to do with, that will be perfect for this project. So folks are now starting to glue down. Elmer's glue is the best. I like it better even than a hot glue gun. A hot glue gun appears to affix stuff permanently, but in fact, if it doesn't, Elmer's glue will adhere three dimensional things to a flat surface a whole lot better. So, Liz, or do you, do you, you can think, stitch it on it. You think um, Elmer's like watered down slightly or just. I would use it on. straight out of the box. Okay, and brushed on, or you can brush it on, you can put it on with your fingers. Yeah, it's non toxic, I hear. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that I don't know. <laughs> it will. One of the nice things about Elmer's glue, once it's dry, you can peel it right off your finger. Yeah, I don't think so. It's, so it's easy to clean. <laughs> When I taught little kids, they would spend more time peeling the dried glue on their fingers than they would do in their art book. I used to use uh, just the animal glue to mold some stuff. Like I have a little texture and I put it in there and there and do, and then I glue it off. Yeah, you can actually use oh. an acrylic too. Once acrylic dries, you can peel it and use it for sculpture. Can you push in so I can do yes. the other thing? Of course I can. Please. Oh. Well, yeah. Can you please <laughs> check it on top? It says, okay. Yeah. Wow. That's so fun. Yeah. We have plenty of time left. Play, play, play. This is the part of teaching in person that I miss terribly. It enables me to come around and give advice while you're working, which yeah, I think we the last time we met here was about a year ago. Yes. It was kind of a test run. And it, it was packed. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was not good. good. It was it wasn't great and we were we were just, you know, some people were not masking and it was a, a little bad. COVID was still a problem. These are beautiful colors. Okay. Yeah, do you guys, what's important for the masks? Yeah. Okay. Well, yes. well, I think Liz said it very well. It's, uh -huh. it's a personal choice, but like, 
As you can see, every day yes. I got it. And it all them off. You can it in. You know, it's well. The good news today, as of today, there are a couple of new vaccines that hopefully will be available soon that will protect us better. Yeah, I like this layering effect very much. Oh, this is interesting. You're doing it on a bag, and you're gonna sew. Oh, and you have gold thread. Wonderful. I don't know. There's so many options in this project, folks. Don't feel overwhelmed. This is a chance for you to experiment. Some things will work, some things won't, and that's part of the artistic process. Every piece of the art that you create is not going to be your best. Even Picasso had failure. So think of this as a way to explore your creativity. Don't frustrate yourself. Experiment, explore, try new things. Play around with the materials before you make final decisions. All of that is okay. So we've lost the image on the screen, so I'm gonna go off camera to refresh. You probably can see that, you know, it's even more too much. And you know, it's a very close And you can see why the larger space is always better for art. It's possible. Whenever possible. And you remember, I have Yeah, we used to have more light. Sometimes we have about five and and I asked whether I can watch it here. They said no. We had up to 20, 25 people in here at the time before. So I sit there and I bring it home. I don't have anything cooked up. Yeah. And the summer I get home. I don't know how that'll work with hybrid things. Maybe I should try to help again. Well, I yeah, like this later. though, being yeah. able to go up the middle, yeah. see our hooked up. Yeah. It's a miracle. I don't believe it. It's a miracle. So I watched the whole thing. Can I see the waterfall right here? Oh, yes. Please. So you, you've done more than one. Yeah, that's a great thing to do. Yeah. My so, folks at home, I want to share this with you. Uh, Margo has taken. one idea and done it multiple times in big media. That's a really good approach for learning how to do things. Yeah, and this is so different. Yeah. And I've learned a lot by doing this. Yeah, yeah. The was there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a great technique. A great process. Yeah. They're practicing. Yes, yeah. And this one, and then I did the water. So we have a favorite. So that's good. They're very different. Yeah. So I didn't have enough different colored markers for this. So we went to the other hand. You know, there's some water. Thinking about you. I hope this is 
Yeah, you're muted. So you're you're talking to me, but you're muted. Why don't you unmute? <laughs> Oh, no, I still can't hear you. <clears throat> can't hear you, Robin. Sorry. I wish you much good luck today. I hope we're a nice distraction for you. She's on her phone. Oh, so she canceled. Maybe turn up your volume. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm ready to sign. Or you can chat. Start at this. Right, you chat. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can always say hi on chat. What is it Happening on this screen, Laura. Did you know Oh, 
The other one bugs me on I think you, you have to get riotous with your culture because you already yeah, have yeah, so yeah. many yeah, yeah. colors. You may have a huge point. Or let's see. What, let's see what's happening in the glitter department. Oh, that works. The greens might work. She has extra for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't seem to have more for this. What's in this kind of she want to use this? Yeah. You need you need something in this yellow thing where you Some of these red things work to an orange. <laughs> I like tacky glue. Tacky glue. Tacky glue is good too. I didn't have any. Tacky glue is a craft glue, very similar to Elmer's. It's a little bit stronger. So does it dry faster? Or no. no. None of them dry fast. It holds things, it holds things better. Like heavier objects. Um, it's a little stickier, it is. You're right, Heather. Okay. It's still a little cold in here. I saw the nice man adjust the temperature. The three bolt? Yes. Yeah, You're admiring my shirt. Yes, did you get that there? My niece married too. It's a seamstress. Oh. She made me several articles of clothing that I will wear. Show off. Oh. <laughs> this is handmade tie-dye. Oh, did she do the tie-dye too? No. She's a laundry girl that goes with the did you buy anything on your trip? Yeah. Oh, I had many articles of clothing from that. Oh, So, yeah. How was the exhibit? Oh, my gosh. So proud of you. Mm -hmm. He is showing his art at the Museum of Black Civilizations in the heart of Dakar. It's quite an honor for him. I met in person my almost my entire African family. So that was pretty cool. I had met them on WhatsApp, but for those of you who don't know out there in YouTube country, uh, I am married to a genius artist named Ibundoy who comes from Dakar, Senegal. And I we are just back from a trip to visit his family. And also we were lucky enough and honored enough to show our artwork in the cart, which is the African Art Biennale, which takes place in Dakar, Senegal. And um, Eva was a runner-up for one of the prizes. Oh, so cool! At the Biennale. 
he met the president of Senegal. I did see an article in the New York Times about what you were talking about. Yeah, he met the international mm -hmm. He's talked to Putin because he needs the grain. He needs the grain. Stolen grain. Yes. And he does all of that Africa, unfortunately. Oh, we'll let some water in. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear any noise. So, it's probably safe yeah to some it's be interesting to see how many hookups we get on YouTube. Well, the only, the only place it is is inside the chat. So with the abstract, so it does say if you want to go live today, this is live visually. So if we didn't come up with it, which is okay for testing, it only has to be a few things in here. But in the future, well, but we need it. And if I if need be, I'll have you right back. You can help out and say, hey, maybe we can use the drop down. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think it's not that much. It's like 140 a year. It's 1499. It's not that it's doable. Um, and then other people can use it. There may be like a limit on how long uh, the class can work. Because we're still live and it's been open for an hour. Zoom might also operate. They have permissions on the package. Right. There's some unlimited. Uh, I used to have. No, I'd let it last. No, that's a good I appreciate your patience for us. But the more we can broadcast. No, it, I'm excited. Then I'm thrilled to have it. Then I could do a demonstration. Yeah, and then leave it at that. But we'll discuss that with the camera. Like to have that set up to be. Like the second that would be a good one. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your first. Oh my gosh. First YouTube live. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and then. I had an award winning performance. Yes. What was the other one? The last one? The last one? Well, he's got lots of time. All his friends, you know, go for it up there. The friends that I, I know. Liz, are you making anything today? I am not. It's oh, okay. my pedagogical philosophy. I do not like to make things for you to watch me make. I prefer that you do your own work. Um, when we did, fun. when we did, it on Zoom, but that's yeah. Different. Yeah. I used to do that when it was only Zoom classes because there was a lot of dead air time and empty space. And I would do my own work in order to fill up that empty space. But I prefer well, I that you really do things without inspired. any influence from me doing my own work. On occasion, I will do demonstrations of different techniques, but I don't want you sitting there watching me creating art. I don't think that's helpful to you. During the pandemic, when you were demoing on Zoom, I thought it was really helpful, but it's also really helpful that you're sitting around to see us. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can think about doing both, but I prefer not doing that. I don't want you to compare your work to mine. I, I've been in art since I was seven years old. <laughs> we're all at different stages of the game, and I think we're all on the same level. So for me to create art while you're watching creates a hierarchy that I feel uncomfortable with. Yeah, I hear you. I think you're just as good or better than I am, and for you to spend time watching me create is not useful.
and we all have different. Now, folks on YouTube, I don't know. It may be less interesting for you because you can't see what's going on in this classroom, but I hope that while at home, you are using the suggested materials to create something of your own, and that's keeping you absorbed and interested. Do remember that every piece of art you create is not going to be a masterpiece. Just have fun exploring the different media that you have available to you. And relax. This is our time to have fun. And you might want to vary color threads, not only use gold, but that's up to you. Do you have any blue? No, they have black. And um, orange. Orange will be nice. I'm not good at mixing colors. You always say that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that came from. I, I don't I think that to be so true. beautiful. So amazing. I just make me sure that I could bring up colors all over the place. <laughs> Try, see, this is something I'm trying to come back to. Is try and let go of the negative self chat. We all do it. We all have negative self judgment. This is a time in your day. I want you to try and let go of those kinds of feelings about yourself and your work. It's hard, but give yourself space and just enjoy yourself. I like you to this. I like the random music. Hi, everyone. I love you, Liz. They love you, right, everyone? <laughs> I hope they do. They, a lot of my Zoom people like why. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Vanessa. Are you having fun? Beautiful. There's something in the background behind the head. And that's okay. Something behind the head in the background. And that's why I'm going to send you a direct message.
people on Zoom, you can always hold up your images if you're having a problem or you need a suggestion. Look at your work. Essentially now um, that you're a smaller group, you'll be into your community. Talk directly to you, a chat with you. But at this point, it looks like everyone is doing well at home. Wonderful. I will come back to you. A lot of work. Oh, yeah. and you know what you're going to do for that? Oh, really? It's so old. I think my grandma does that. And you know what's, but you know what, what's important about it is that it's a wind up. So I don't have to go. I have yeah, like, you reach it. I have like, you know, like, you don't need that. I said that. Wow. So now I'm just using this because it's so easy. Yeah, I have lots of buttons that you need. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, I like that I'm just, yeah, where you I press a button and it lights up. Even without your favorite red salt. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
In your mom's one that you show where more like a black and white, I yes. look at the online image myself. It's more very different. It was different, the white space yes. And, and that's the one. I have that image up on the screen if you want to look the, at she it. Uses, see, it's like a little jam just as like a dot for the family. It's, interesting. it's a lot plainer than what she normally does. You're right. <laughs> I think it's she thought it's like out of a compass all the way through. I think it's from a very different series. Although actually this is a different one on the screen. Um there is part of the dance hall tradition, this is kind of fascinating, but um the young men bleach their skin, which is I think why some of the portraits have white skin and she's kind of fascinated by that but it's all part of the glam thing you might want it to this is just a thought, but you might want to also outline some of these kind of jagged shapes. Not just fill in, but emphasize the shape itself. Maybe sometimes have longer stitches. When I hand stitch, my arm or Sorry, but there was technical difficulties. There we go. So we'll leave my laptop off for a while. Yeah. Okay. So sorry, folks. We'll that hurt the ears. We'll talk that about that afterwards. <laughs> but that has happened before. You remember? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Maybe I don't know after, what it is. After class, we'll go over those with Phil. Whether it's something to do with the lectern or. But it has it usually happens near the end of class. Okay. Yeah, we we had time. It's eleven twenty six. Plenty of time. Yeah. Maybe this is going right. No, no. Can I write this? I want more. Yeah. I think you need more of it, and then you're going to like it. 
That's what I suggest. Yeah. They're probably not going to do it for you. That's the answer. I can't do that. You promise. What was going to be the new one going to be That's going to be the son of the father. It's a lawyer. It's an attorney. Yeah, but so you didn't have any political. Position uh, other than helping his father, not that I know. So he will become homeless? Not yet. As far as I know, it's the first time in the history of the state that this has happened. There may be other Have states. Father and son, right? Yeah. Who was? The Menendez duo that oh. we may have in the future. Did he win the last one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't talk about it now. The fight race is going to be Malinowski against Tom Kane Jr. That's going to be the fight race. And Mikey Sherrill also is up for the election. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you changed your mind? I don't like it. It's too. Okay, so people are going through different processes. Some people are now rejecting what they originally chose. That's what happens in the artistic process. You have an idea, you create a method, you test it out, you either reject and start over, or you keep going. And eventually you come up with a product that you feel happy with. Same thing as the scientific process. Most people don't realize what it is. It was a science. And he said science is a lot like art. It is. It's really the same method. But he said it was like taking disparate elements and putting them together and making something like that. Exactly. It's all about experimentation and observing. What happens as you experiment and making adjustments and either rejecting or keeping? If you think it doesn't work, you start over. And I believe the greatest, most successful artists that we've ever had are the ones who have the courage to reject and start over. The ones who aren't complacent and stay with same old, same old.
Yeah, that'll be like 12 minutes. We oh, yeah, that would be great. I don't want to fuss with Unless that. it's... But I don't want to fuss with it. Because of the scratches. <laughs> so I'll just awful. pick it up and put it on the floor. Okay. So That's what we tried to do last time we did Zoom. Okay. And it, it was kind of okay. Last time we did hybrid. So I like this one. Yeah. yeah, so... <laughs> this could be finished. What about the yellow button? Yeah, for me, she feels a little dark. Yeah, I know. Oh, Red, red orange. orange. This? Yeah. Or these. Oh, this one. And what is this? Where is it? More this? Yeah. It's more flower? Where is it? Well, you don't have to more follow. Flowers. You don't have to follow the pattern, but I want more of this color. In the bottom, I think. The bottom right hand corner. That's what I'm feeling. You see how you like it. Guys at home, okay? You guys? We have about 12 more minutes, so sharing time, and everybody's going to get to share. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've created. My favorite part of class. If you are dissatisfied with your work, that's the perfect time to share because you can get ideas and suggestions. From other people. So sharing is a great time <laughs> to take advantage of the advice that other people can give you. I'm going to go on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If macrame is coming back, Yeah. 
Nodding to make fiber art. Usually, wall pieces. Some people use macrame for making planting plant holders that you can suspend from the ceiling. I did mainly wall things. So, did you do a lot of um, intricate knotting? No, I don't know. I guess. Uh, I'm not good at following rules, so I <laughs> I know uh -huh. yeah, formal <laughs> macrame. Oh, okay. Rule following. Yeah, because I, I mean, I drove my remember. mother nuts. There are these horrible these, things like, hanging all over the place <laughs> in the house. That's what I remember oh. about macrame. But I just, I love fibers. So, yeah, it was a natural. It was something that I loved playing around with threads and fibers. But I remember like intricate patterns. Oh, yeah. Oh, people I are really, really, really macrame aficionado. There are all kinds of fancy knots and techniques. Yeah. You can find it oh, online, I'm sure. I'm sure. There are YouTube videos about macrame. Yeah. <laughs> You're too young, probably. It was big in the seventies. I think you would like it. Yeah, I love this series. Um, Ebony G. Patterson also did a massive series. Yeah. The last image that I had up on the screen. Yeah, a lot of the scissors that I brought are really not bad. You know, I'm looking for more yellow. Need some scissors at work? A lot of the Zoom folks had to leave. Oh, I we still have to Zoom them and move, but I'm going to bring the uh, laptop closer now. Oh, actually, I like it. The colors are great. I like it. great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This is perfect for sharing. We're going to have sharing in five minutes if you want. She's going to come back in, Liz? No. No, you sure? Oh, she did say thank you.
Liz, are you hanging um, students artwork any place in town? No, no I heard there's an artwork, but <laughs> I didn't know anything about that. It's okay. in restaurants only, I oh, think. Okay. No, but I meant your students in terms of the senior center or any locations? At the moment, no. Okay. Um, do you know that there are people? And yes, I can see. You can see? Yes. Sure. There's something called Fixity. And I think the barn It's a stay. I recommend you do it out of Dorset. It's the only thing on the planet that will varnish. Yeah. You can get different fixatives at, at places like Dick Lick, but I don't think. And you can get the golden acrylic varnish at Dick Lick. But any other kind of fixative that I've ever used doesn't work as well as golden varnish. Okay. Golden acrylic varnish. Okay. Not to for golden paints, but I like golden paints and I like their acrylic varnish a lot. And golden paint, the guy who owned it and created it lives in Hobo. Just a little aside. All right, it is time to share. You don't have to clean up yet. That was we're here. So I'm going to start with Susan Manda, who is at home. Cool. You can gather around. <laughs> so everybody stop what you're doing, please, and come around behind me. Oh, wow. Susan, this is great. You really, I think you were influenced. Wait, she's still muted. Yeah, so I think this is she's talking about it. Oh, maybe you're on. So you're not able to find out on the video. Something good. That's something like that. We're able to do that. We're able to do that. We're able to do that. Okay, can you just say something? Here. Oh, good. All right, Shh. everybody listen to Zeus. <laughs> oh, good. Well, tell oh, us. Yes. She can't hear you. She can't hear me. Oh, yeah. Well, I had a Bring your work back to the next class. All right. So we have work in progress. Susan. First. 
This one yeah. is. Yes, that's right. is very, very artistic. Right. <laughs> but Pat is stitching. Pat, you know. So I'm delighted with this piece. Pat has literally stitched her work together. Beads here, and I think you're probably going to do that. Media is a great way to creativity, everyone, and I invite you all to learn more about Ebony G. Patterson, a wonderful Jamaican artist now living in the United States. He's an incredibly talented person. And we will be back here at the Hoboken Public Library next Wednesday, which I believe is June... 14th or 15th, 